Hello friends, this video on mechanical properties of solid part 12 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Please make sure that you have watched all the videos from part 1 to part 11 before going ahead with part 12. Look at the third problem. It says, how much should the pressure on a liter of water be changed to compress it by 0.10%? That means the volume, the initial volume of the water is given as 1 litre. It is told that it has to be compressed by 0.10%. That means what is the 0.10%? It is nothing but delta V by V in percentage. So this value delta V by V percent is equal to 0.10%. This is given in the question. If you see it carefully, it is just the reverse of what we did in the previous question. So, from the formula for bulk modulus, which says bulk modulus is equal to the stress, that is pressure, divided by delta V by V, that is the volumetric strain. So, from this, we can say that what would be the pressure, that is we have to calculate P. So we can say that P is equal to the bulk modulus B into, into the volumetric strain that is delta V by V. So we can say what is the bulk modulus? Bulk modulus for water is 2.2 into 10 to the power 9 Newton per meter square and what is delta V by V? It is given in the question. So delta V by V is 0 0.10. So this is equal to 0 0.10 which comes out to be 10 to the power minus 3. So delta V by V comes out to be 10 to the power minus 3 because this is 0 0.10 in percentage. So this comes out to be 10 to the power minus 3. So we put this value of 10 to the power minus 3 and we get it as 2.2 into 10 to the power 6 Newton per meter square. So that means this much pressure needs to be applied so that the water gets compressed by 0.10%. Now let us look at the fourth and the last problem. Now let us look at the last problem. It says what is the density of water at a depth where pressure is 80 atmosphere given that its density at the surface is 1.03 into 10 to the power 3 kg per meter cube. That means you have to calculate the density of water at a depth when you are given the density of water on the surface. So let us start doing this. You are given that the pressure at that depth is 80 atmosphere. 80 atmosphere would mean how many pascals? 1 atmosphere is equal to 1.01 into 10 to the power 5 pascals. This is the relation between atmosphere and pascals. So we can say this will be 80 into 1.01 into 10 to the power 5 pascals. So this value would be the pressure at a certain depth. Now let us consider, let us consider that this certain depth is h okay, because we don't know what is the depth at which pressure is 80 atmosphere. So at a depth h let us suppose that pressure is 80 atmosphere. So we have to calculate the density of water at depth h. So let us also consider density of water at depth h is denoted by rho 2 and let us suppose that the density of water at surface is denoted by rho 1 and similarly let us consider that the volume of water on the surface is denoted by V1 and the volume of the water at a depth of H from the surface 
is denoted by V2. So therefore, what would be the change in volume between the surface and the height h or the depth h? The change in volume would be delta V that is V1 minus V2, right? Now we already know that density is equal to mass by volume. This we already know. This is a very basic relation, right? So when we are writing volume, we can write volume as mass by density. So we can write it as mass by density. Similarly, this also we can write it as mass by rho 2. So we can write it as mass 1 by rho 1 minus 1 by rho 2. Where rho 1 and rho 2 are the densities of water on the surface and at a depth of h respectively. Now, what would be the volumetric strain? The volumetric strain which is generally given by delta V by V1. What would be that? Delta V by V1 because this is the initial volume. So this will be equal to M into 1 by rho 1 minus 1 by rho 2 this into 1 by v1 now what would be v1 v1 is nothing but rho 1 by m so we can write it as rho 1 by m now this is nothing but this will be 1 minus rho 1 by rho 2 so, using this expression for delta V by V1, we can now try to find out the bulk modulus. So, now that we have calculated the value of delta V by V1, that is the volume strain, we can write the expression for bulk modulus, which is equal to pressure divided by delta V by V1. Right. So, from this we can write delta V by V1 is equal to P divided by capital B. Here we are not writing the minus sign because that minus sign doesn't have much uh, role to play in doing calculations. It just shows that an increase in pressure results in an in decrease in volume. So we are just ignoring that for the time being. Now we have al also seen that compressibility that is K is equal to reciprocal of bulk modulus that is 1 by B. So using that we can say that this is equal to P into small k, right? Therefore, we can now write instead of delta V by V1, we can write as 1 minus rho 1 by rho 2, which we calculated before. So, 1 minus rho 1 by rho 2 is equal to P into k. So, what is this? This pressure is nothing but 80 atmospheres that is 80 into 1.01 .01 into 10 to the power 5 and what is k? k is nothing but 1 by b that is equal to 45.8 into 10 to the power minus 11. So this comes out to be 3.71 into 10 to the power minus 3. Now using this we have to just remember what we have to calculate. We have to calculate the value of rho 2. So we can say rho 2 is equal to 1.03 into 10 to the power minus 3 divided by 1 minus 3.71 into 10 to the power minus 3. So this comes out to be 1.034 into 10 to the power 3 kg per meter cube. So basically what we did in this problem, in this problem we were given the value of rho 1 that is the density on the surface. We had to calculate the density at a certain depth. So we assumed that let that depth be h. So we calculated the change in volume with respect to the initial volume. Then we applied the equation of bulk modulus. So we expressed the volume strain in terms of the densities. So we replaced the equation and we calculated the value. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, 
get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thank you once again.